Hello everyone, I'm Alicia. Welcome to my Beautiful Nights channel. For this video, I'm going to open up another monthly subscription from the Dollar Bead Box and Bag. In case you're interested in these two, I will link them down below in the description bar. So, let's cut this open and see what we have. And I think I'm coming down on the cold, and the more time passes by, the more I feel sick. So I did get an email letting me know that they might have accidentally put the December bag in the January box. So they sent an email, I guess it's automated, to um, people who they think they might have got this. So I have to refer, oh my gosh, look at those colors. I have to refer back to my email. Wow, I've never seen them put a color mix like this out. Is this for spring? I'm still totally enjoying the winter, I have to say. Actually, this could be winter too, couldn't it? That's like very cool vibes. That is gorgeous. Alrighty. Um, these are three. This one's three. Pretty. So pretty. I'm definitely a pink, purple, and blue girl. Turquoise is my favorite color, but I always like pink nails are my favorite, and I, I love pink and purple together. And so, the, for, the email says, I may have grabbed the listing from December box versus January box when packing your items. The correct color options are 3mm and 4mm matte light aqua and matte blue violet. Blue violet, light pink. Okay, so... This is matte light aqua. This is beautiful. I do not think I have this in my stash. And it totally looks like sea glass to me. Very pretty. I like that a lot. And then matte light aqua. Matte blue violet. This one? Maybe. No, matte blue violet. This is pretty. It kind of looks like alexanderite. Very pretty. I like those two together. And then... Blue violet. Maybe this one. And then it's light pink. Yeah. This is gorgeous. I think I have this in my stash. This bead's really cool. It's two-tone. I think it's like a spray paint on it or something. I have it in red and green, like a bright red. It makes me think of salsa. I have it in fuchsia and purple. I think I have it in fuchsia and blue in my stash. It's really pretty. I like it a lot. Okay, and then this is the light pink, 3 millimeter. All of these are 3 millimeter. This is gorgeous. Um... The only way to know if this is painted is by looking at the hole and putting it up to the light. I don't think it is. It looks like it's solid, so if it is solid and it were to break, it would be this color inside. That is gorgeous. Okay, so here's the, the three, four millimeters. Beautiful. Alright, next thing, four millimeter matte aqua. Pink opal. What? No, no, no. Light aqua. Hmm. I wonder if I screwed any of those up. I don't think I did. Matte aqua. None of these are matte. But this is definitely an aqua color. This is really gorgeous. I've never seen this one. Oh, there it is. It's light aqua. Yeah, I believe so. Matte, blue, matte light aqua. The only bead strand that I have are these two. These are light. Matte light aqua, matte blue violet. I don't know. It don't really matter. It's not that important. That is gorgeous. I want to show you these two. Um, I think it's like this one right here. See? Matte and shiny. They're beautiful. I've never really seen these shades. They're gorgeous. Okay, and this one's pink. 
Um, it says pink opal. No, it's not. This is opal. Oh, you know what? This is light pink. This is light pink. So I'm kind of confused as to... This must be light pink. And this is pink opal. Maybe the first names were actually the 4 millimeter, But it made me think that it was a 3 because she has 3 millimeter in front. And then she says and 4 millimeter. So this is probably... As I'll go back further, this is probably light pink. There's also Rosaline pink. That is a peachy pink color. Very gorgeous. I like both of them. I feel like you can't see it well because of my skin. Okay, and then... I know this one is... Travertine Vitrol. Yeah. But I actually know this as... Magic Blue. I got it in a... Round dues, super dues, I think, and buttons, check buttons. It's beautiful. Okay, and then matte violet. It's very confusing. Matte light. Uh, these are all the names. Matte light aqua. Matte purple violet. Matte. Excuse me, matte blue violet. So, but this is not matte. This is shiny. I don't know. I don't know. It's a little screwy. It don't matter. It really, it's not important. I don't write these names down. I usually don't. I just put them in my in my box. Those are gorgeous. Those are both shiny. Those aren't matte, but um, it really doesn't matter. It don't matter. Okay. They're just beautiful beads. Very pretty. So are the beads in here gonna match? Yes, oh I love it. Oh look at those. Wow, new new heart. Pretty. Okay. Bags to the side. That's gorgeous. I really love that lampwork bead. Those are precious. That's awesome. Those are nice. Those are awesome. Really cool. Oh my gosh. We have like a spring mix. So cute. I'm not ready for spring though. I want to stay in the winter. It's hot in Florida. These look like ice cubes. Those are really cool. Gorgeous strand. Okay. And these are bags. And first thing. 3 by 5 millimeter check glass pinch bead. This one. Ice blue. Sure is ice blue. Actually, it looks like um, Alexandrite. But it's not turning purple, so I don't think it is. Wow, it's so... Amazing, it looks really awesome on the camera. It's like glowing. It's like it's glow in the dark or something. That's cool. Okay, I like that. And then 12 by 12 millimeter check glass two hole hexagon pyramid matte crystal 25 pieces. This looks like ice. Wait a second. Th that this is not right. This is not 12 by 12 millimeter. This is 6. This is 6 millimeter. Twelve by twelve millimeter check glass two hole hexagon pyramid matte crystal twenty-five pieces. I think it's right. I think it's just the size is off. The twelve by twelve are enormous. I don't remember seeing any of those in here. But um I I think this is six by six millimeter. Those are awesome. And then six millimeter check glass lucerna bicone, this one. Cadet blue. These are gorgeous. I've used these several times. They're really awesome to weave with. I prefer them over Lucerna or not what is this called again? 
Pinch beads. I prefer the Lucerne over the pinch because I feel like more can be done with it. I guess because it's four sides, it's, it's more fun to weave with. But I've made like rings and bracelets and stuff with it. And I've also used it in stringing. Next thing is 3mm Check Last Rock Jet Rainbow Iris. This one? This looks like green, rain, uh, green iris to me. Jet is usually black. Which I do believe this is black underneath of here. And I put this permanent finish on here. Unless, you know, you break the bead and it's not jet underneath. That is gorgeous. 3mm. I don't think I have that size. And then, oh my gosh, I'm so excited. 3 by 10 millimeter check glass dagger. This, these are tiny. Jet, or, yeah, jet hematite or matte silver. I got hematite. I prefer the, the hematite, actually, over the silver. This gunmetal color. These are gorgeous. Doesn't look like a bug. It looks like a creepy centipede. I love this small size. I have made flowers with these. I made a ring. And then this is the strand that I'm really excited about. 4mm check last drop. Alexandrite. 50 pieces. So this color here changes. Um, right now it looks purple because I'm under these this um, daylight bulb. But if I like go into the living room or go into a room where there's not a daylight bulb, it will look blue. And if you go outside, this will look purple. So depending on your lighting, the bead will change color. It's really amazing. I have seen this in Czech bicones in the past. I don't think I bought it though, but I do love Alexanderite. I'm always collecting that stuff. Now additional items. 18 millimeter Czech glass blue periwinkle button, one piece. Oh, that bead or button, this is adorable. Look at this. It has a flower on it. That's precious. And I like the shank. Very cute. Their buttons are one heck of a deal. Um, everything's a dollar each. If you remember, if you go into the website, you order each of these for a dollar each, which is so crazy. Because this would probably be like five dollars somewhere else. That strand. Anyways, these buttons, you can get them for a dollar each. They also have some that are very decorative, really decorative, that you can get for a dollar each. And they're like seven, eight dollars at other places. It's like nuts. I don't know how they do it. How do they sell it so cheap? I don't know. Next thing is 10 millimeter check glass, or check fire polish, jet vintage silver. This, six pieces. I just got these. And a soft flex kit. I made a necklace with them, but they, I think, were. Were they 10? 10 or 8? I can't remember. And I will be filming that video next. Those are nice. This is my third video today, and I think I am getting sick with a cold, so I'm trying to keep it together and make it through. These are really thick bags. I love their bags. Where am I at? I'm lost. 3mm check glass rondelle. Light aqua. 50. Quantity. These? Oh my gosh. I love these. I've got these before in the past from the dollar bead box. I've been subscribed to the dollar bead box for years now, okay? And sometimes I do get multiple things, but it doesn't bother me at all because you can never have too many beads, okay? There's, there's no such thing as too many beads. Anyways, I've got these before and I used them in a project. What was it? These are the smallest rondelles I have ever seen. They look like 10 OC beads. They're perfectly uniform. They have that donut shape. I really don't want to take them out. But um, they're just amazing quality. I made something with these. I loved working with them so much. I'll try to find a picture of what I made with these.
a long time ago. I love those so much. Um, in the past, though, when I got them, I think they were on a strand, and right now they're in a baggie. Okay. 11 by 16 millimeter check glass heart leaf. Opaque light blue with dark pink. Two pieces. Oh. Opaque light blue. I, I know this is periwinkle. I had bought was it last year um, periwinkle drugs. And they're gorgeous. So gorgeous. The same color. These are really cute. I love those. Oh, I forgot to bring down my beads from the bag. So I like to do this. Yeah. It's a lot. It's a lot here. Next thing. 5 by 9 millimeter Chinese crystal cut rectangle periwinkle. Now it says periwinkle. Rainbow iris. Where are you? This. These are pretty. And I think I've used these before. But I can't remember for what. They're very pretty. I think that these would be awesome in a loom bracelet. But Seventeen millimeter pewter heart and key toggle. One quantity. This is precious. I really like the key. I do have a thing for keys. So there's the heart. And here is the key. Isn't that cute? I also have a thing for hearts. Yes. I like those. And then 8mm check glass waterfall cut crystal, 10 pieces. What? This? Eight millimeter check glass waterfall cut. Crystal, ten pieces. Um, this just looks like flower polish to me. I think this is the right thing. Let's see, is the bag deceiving me? Hmm. I don't know what waterfall cut is. I know what helix is. Oh, that's one in the bag. They're pretty. They are pretty. I would, you know, I have to say something. I've always been kind of weird about the clear beads. Like, I've always thought they were gorgeous, especially the AV ones. But whenever I go to use them, it just feels weird. Because they're see-through, right? Well, more than ever, I'm realizing that I just need to use these with cord or bead string wire that is colored so instead of using it on silver use like soft flex um purple beach ring wire or e use a a colored cord like what's it called super long cord through the bead because the color comes through the bead and it, then it looks like it's color lined so that's what i want to start doing more is that kind of thing Next is 8mm check glass heart matte black AB 10 pieces. These are absolutely gorgeous. Um, I have done things with these hearts before. One thing that I did that I really loved was a bracelet. And I think I used beads from the dollar bead box, hearts from the dollar bead box, to make. Look at that. Aren't those gorgeous? Long, long time ago, somebody did a necklace. I can't believe I remember this. Somebody collected a whole bunch of the jet black with AB on one side beads. A whole bunch of them. All different, shades, uh, all different shapes and sizes of these beads. Mixed them together and put them in a necklace. And I just thought that was so darn pretty.
okay? 10 by 16 millimeter handmade Chinese lamp work beads. Style and color varies. One piece. This. I love the one I got because I am a pink and blue freak. These bags are super strong. Really thick. Oh my gosh. Anybody else have really dusty lamp work beads? I feel like I need to go through my box and clean them. That's pretty. It has a large enough hole, but if I wanted to, I can string this onto a chain. Isn't that pretty? Oh my gosh, the bracelet that I just made. This would be perfect for that. I just did a Russian spiral stretch bracelet, and I went over elastic cord in the best brand that I have found in elastic cord. There's this elastic cord that I've been using for 10 years now. It's amazing quality. It does not rot. It lasts way longer than all the elastic cords. So I'll put a picture up now. And if you want. to go see what elastic cord I'm talking about. The best quality elastic cord. Longest lasting. Does not rot. Go and watch that video. But this would be awesome for that bracelet. It's beautiful. Okay. And then. There's three baggies left. Three by eight millimeter check glass daisy. Pink. 30 pieces. These. I love these. I have these in my stash. Um, I don't know how many colors I have them in, but I know that I have th these beads in a marbled lavender purple and white with clear. It's mixed together. It's marbled in the beads um, the ones I got were from were Blue Moon and they were from Walmart like when I was a, a little kid and um, they're just so gorgeous they're really pretty I love those but I don't see these very often so I don't know if I do have these in other colors other than what I was just talking about okay I cannot wait to get to this heart and also this bag 18 millimeter check glass kiwi heart crystal pink with gold wash one piece that's funny huh there is an oval bead that's called a kiwi the center has this in it I use that to make a ring and um, I have never seen this before it says it's 18 millimeters this is precious right there's the hole that is so gorgeous I love it. I love that. Alright, so I have to go through this bag, but here's all the other things we got. Now I'm going to push everything out of the way and see what's in here. This says check glass bead mix. Lush Garden, 20 through 25 grams. So they have mixes like this on their um, Dollar Bee Box site and I was getting mixes like this from JTV, but someone commented, one of my viewers, on a Dollar Bead Box video and said that they have got the JTV mixes like this and the Dollar Bead Box, but they actually prefer the Dollar Bead Box. She said it was had um, like a better mix where you got like more even amounts of the same beads because sometimes with JTV you might get like oddball beads, you might get like one and that's the only one in the box or pairs but she said that she, she liked how they did their mixes more that's what she said so that's pretty I like that and here are some leaves oh boy I think I like the pale color more those are pretty so check out their mixes I think some of you would actually prefer to be a member of the Dollar Bead Box because you get you get to pick what you want and everything is so fairly priced and I've never seen prices for check glass beads like I have on that site. Wow, look at this one. And this is just a sample. I think they sell these in half pound bags, by the way. 
Yeah, it says 20 to 25 grams. I think you can buy these in half pound or one pound bags. Or maybe that was just a special. I don't know. You have to go to the website and check it out for yourself. And remember, I will link the website down there below in the description bar. Look at that one. I really like the stripes. Here's a blue one. I should have put these in here. Oh, look! There's a, a matte black one in here. I'll probably put him in that bag. I'm going to scoop this up. Here's teal. I don't see this color very often. I do have this in my stash. This is a really nice mix. And it would just be fun to string these and have seed beads in between them. So that this is a dagger, but there's a special name for it. What is it called? Is it a wide dagger? I can't remember. But I've, I've got those before. These here are the spike beads. And those have stripes on them. And I have never, or maybe I have, this, look at this. It looks like a um, checkmate, but it's diagonal. It's cool. There's another spike. I love that color. And there's more stuff in here. More spike beads. More daggers. There's so much here. There's check fire polish. Look at those. One's Picasso. These rondelles are amazing. I love stuff like this. These here are uh, purple iris drugs. There's little cubes. I'm not in frame. Um, this here's like a lintel, but it's square. See that? Those are awesome. There's a little uh, green flower. There's Bible beads. These have two holes. Really nice mix. Lucerna bicones. Lucerna bicones. Lentils. Really nice mix. Check fire polish in 4mm. Little trucks. So that's a really nice mix. Here's everything we are getting in this month's dollar bead box and bag. Everything is so gorgeous. I love the color mix. It's very pretty and girly and I like it so much. And make sure you go and check out their website. Not just the dollar bead box subscription and bag, subs bag subscription. Look at their membership. Look at their shop. See what they have to offer on the site. They have so much to offer. Look at their mixes and things that they make. Because they have really awesome deals on there. Alright? So this is it. I hope you guys enjoyed the openings. Please like this video. Leave me a comment. Subscribe if you want to see more of my videos. And make sure you click the bell button so that you get notified whenever I upload new videos. And follow me on my social media sites. I'm on Instagram, Pinterest, and Twitter. Thanks for watching.